No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today we got the one and only Vitaly, YouTube legend. How you feeling? What's up? I'm feeling fantastic. How are you? I mean, you seem a lot more calm than when I saw you on Saturday. You seemed a little bit uh, out of sorts at, at that moment. What do you mean? Did I even see you on Saturday? You might not have seen me, but I saw you, and you were very much like in the zone. You were ordering drinks frantically at the bar. You were trying to tell the guy, like, give me a double. No, give me a triple. And like you just, Are you sure that was me? Because I only got to, I only got three drinks that night. Everybody so. else out there has seen it because it's in my vlog. I literally I, just, I love it. Everyone's in the comments <laughs> like you're on Coco Molly. Actually, I wasn't on any, any drugs. You seemed like you were at the very least. The energy level was ridiculously high. What What was your plan when you went to well, the Logan Paul KSI fight? My plan was uh, um, okay when Logan. Logan was supposed to win. That's what I thought was going to happen. Right. And agents contacted me two weeks prior to the fight. Do you want to fight Logan? I said, absolutely. And Agents I, from the zone, agents from his agent side? Agents from uh, Mutual. Okay. They said, Logan Paul said, yes, he will fight you if he wins. I'm like, fuck it. The money is great. They sent me the contract, like a agreement. And I said, sure, I need some training. I probably need eight months because he's been training, obviously, for mm. longer. I have zero boxing experience. And uh, he lost. So I, as soon as I... Tried to run up to the ring, took all that KSI. Everybody knew the security from the past history. Everyone's on the radios. They're looking at me. So I just started screaming, talking shit, and the Bradley situation happened. So were you going to be allowed into the ring if Logan won? No, but I'm sure when Logan saw me getting carried out, he would be like, bring him up here. That was, I think, because he even said it in his podcast, it would be great if you streaked it. I wasn't going to do it during the boxing match, but I was going to do it during his victory speech. Right. Okay, yeah. so that's why you were a little bit on edge. Were you nervous about having to potentially try to get on stage? Fuck no, nervous. This? What is nervous doesn't exist in my system. <laughs> no, no, that doesn't. That's not even no. something you can conceive no. of. No, yeah. Okay, so what do you think about? Uh, okay, so then you're in the crowd, you're hooting and hollering, trying to get on stage. No, I wasn't trying. I walked up. I knew it was impossible. Okay, I wasn't desperate. I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it. And as soon as I knew I couldn't do it. I uploaded that picture calling out KSI, and mm. that's it. Uh, and so how did you actually end up grabbing Bradley by the neck? Okay, so that's funny. Bradley's my boy. We're fucking good. There's no beef. There's no nothing. It wasn't, like, fake. So pretty much with my boys, and I shouldn't do that with everybody, but with my boys, when we're in public, we're pretending like we're fighting each other, like push, and then the whole crowd goes crazy. And, you know, all these YouTubers there, so like, oh, shit. So I pushed Bradley. And my apologies, that wasn't cool. I pushed him by the neck. Mm. He's a big fucking guy. He can push it. 260. Hey, fuck. And he started swinging at me. And he got laid two punches on me. And full, full force, I felt uh, I felt it, but I didn't feel it to where, like, I was still standing. So I lift up my glasses. But, like, bro, you're good? I'm just fucking around with you. Like, what did you just do? And everyone's like, you Vitaly didn't hit back. Yeah, because there was, like, fucking five cops around me. I'm in the middle of getting my citizenship. The last thing I want to do is go to fucking jail for a battery to a friend that I just literally came back from Thailand spending a week 24 seven together. And oh, having so you're that close. Yeah, me and Bradley just went to Thailand with me, Dan Bilzerian, and we had a fucking most amazing time. What do you do in Thailand with Dan Bilzerian? Oh, what do you think, a couple man? Of, a bunch of meatheads all just hanging out fucking out there? Fucking meatheads hanging out there, yeah, man. <laughs> is there any training that goes down or is it all just dumping your ball sack into girls? Well, I got a girlfriend, so right. but well, uh, whatever. Dan Bilzerian doesn't seem like he has a girlfriend. Every day is a new girl. It's nice. It was crazy. Cool. Crazy. But where are they even coming from? Because when you go to Thailand, it's like you gotta. You probably got to ship them in because it's like the... the uh, he takes them on the private jet. Mm. He's he's importing his... Do you think that gets... Does that get old for him? Do you have any kind of perspective on this in terms of just... Uh, it seems well, like Dan fucking is my a bunch of girls boy, per day would so, get old. I mean, he said he doesn't He doesn't try. They're just, they, just, they just fight for him. So it's just like, yeah. You don't have to at some point if you're Dan Bozzari and you've got hundreds of girls around. I feel like at some point you got to try to have them there. What do you mean? Like try? Like they're not just going to always show up, or at least the ones that you want to come through. I feel like at some point you got to be. Come on, you're going to always show up. You got the house. You got the house. You got the private jet. You got the fucking best chefs in the world cooking food. I mean, what else? You travel for free. What else do you want? But he's a really nice, respectful guy. So obviously that image portrays whatever. I have nothing but love and respect for Dan because he's very, very nice. He treats a woman good. So, but do you think that most women in Hollywood, at least, that they're down? Like that's that's what they want out of life is like they, they'll 
fuck this guy just because he's got nice pecs and a nice well, house. Well, no, most of the girls wanted to tag. <laughs> they want the tag. Yeah, Is it really that bad? They want the tag. Fuck. I feel like you might see like a more gratuitous version of this than I see in terms of girls just being thirsty as fuck or clout. Uh, what do you mean? I'm sorry. You know, I mean, you have like this is like the the what your entire thing is based on now is that you got these girls who just want to get fucking that they're willing to get naked basically for the clout. That's what you're saying is that a lot of them don't even really want to get paid. They just want to get no. Dan Dan doesn't pay any girls. Okay, but doesn't. in terms of your shit, my shit. Are you paying? I don't, nope, I don't pay them ever. Slide into DM. Hey, want to come shoot? Topless. Uh, sure. Blah blah blah. I'm like, I'll give you a tag, just a cherry on top. And they come through and, you know, I treat them with respect and they come back. Right. That's crazy. It's like, I, I, it's kind of hard for, you know, I, I don't want to reiterate the same conversation that Logan had with you, but it's kind of hard to imagine that there's so many people out there that are, that want to see topless pranks. Yeah, I mean, nobody's doing it. So YouTube is for pussies now. I just got an email that saying something about make sure you... Put a check if your video is for kids. Did now you get that always, email? Every video you upload, I'm pretty sure now you have to do that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. You didn't You didn't get the email? No, I, I get yeah. it. Like, I uploaded a couple of videos yesterday. I noticed that for all of them, I had to check. No, this is not for kids. Yeah, this, yeah. That's what I'm talking this about. This is a blue face interview. I don't yeah. know if some kids are going to watch it, but it's not for them. Yeah, it's fucking nuts. That's changing the game right there because all these kids channels, that used to be like a total hustle is just make some dorky ass kid channel and you can make millions of dollars and it's probably going to be a little tougher now. Yeah, it says starting today, all creators are required to tell us if their content is made for kids in order to comply with Children Online Privacy <laughs> Protection Act, COP, whatever, blah, blah, blah. LMFAO. That's my response. Fucking YouTube, I'm grateful. 10 million subscribers. I wouldn't be sitting here if not for YouTube, but... I'm growing my shit, my side, fourteen ninety nine a month. Fucking people subscribing like crazy. Yeah, it used Can't to be, be five dollars a month, right? Fuck it, bro. What got a, same amount of people sign up from fourteen ninety nine. Really? Yes. That's crazy. Yes. I noticed that you were trying to get to ten million when you were on the Logan Paul podcast, and now you've soared past it. Yeah. Well, thanks to Kinsey, she streaked the fucking game for me. Oh, and that's what got it. Yeah, I was like at nine point eight, and I, every time I would just upload a video, I would lose subscribers. I was like, one day I'll get it, and then we're supposed to streak together. But I got the wrong, t I got the right tickets. But the guy thought he was giving me a favor. He gave me the balcony tickets and, and closed the envelope. I didn't go pick up the tickets. My mm. boy went. I was like, do not open the envelope. Give it to me. And I opened the envelope. It's the one ticket that I actually got, and the two other ones supposed to be all sitting together. But the guy's like, I'll hook you up with the balcony. I'm like, fuck. So I looked at it. I was like, Kinsey, you go do it. And if you don't fucking do it, I'm gonna break up with you. Wow. Yeah. That's a girl. That's a real woman right there. Fuck yeah, she's a trooper. Do you think that everybody, if you really want to start making millions of dollars a year from YouTube, that moving towards this sort of pay site thing is the move? That that's the future of it? Because it seems like it's working out great for you, right? Yeah, well, you got to do unique shit. I don't know. What mm. else? What are you going to charge people for? You but know I mean, I, mean? I know girls are making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month off their OnlyFans or the oh. private snap or whatever. And it's like your shit is, I think that's what you're doing is that you figured out a way to do it as a guy. Yes, and the funny thing about it is that I got that's not including the affiliate links. I'm talking about I got Brazzers and Bang Bros are fighting for my site. They want like and, shit and like they that. got bread, and they got bread. So uh, I got 52 employees. I don't do shit. I just have to fucking come up with ideas, which is easy. I'm good at that, and upload, send it to my editor, upload the videos, and just keep growing. And it's gonna be the next Girls Gone Wild new generation. Mark my words, hundred million dollar business in in the next few years. All right, guys, quick break from our content here. I just want to send a big, big shout out to these Raycon headphones. My boy Ray J, he's actually got the scooter shop over there on Melrose. Well, he came down and he blessed me with these things. And let me tell you, my experience over the past week has been absolutely incredible. Uh, they're these wireless earbuds. They're tiny. They're a lot like a lot of other headphones out there on the market, but they're better, trust me, because the price point is super, super low, and these things just stick to your ear like glue. I don't really know exactly what they had to do to get these things to stay in there so good. Myself, I have kind of weird-shaped ears, but these Raycon headphones really did the trick. Uh, Ray J actually got together with a whole bunch of different audio engineers, music industry folks. Obviously, he knows this type of stuff, and they made these headphones just about as good as they could possibly be. And myself being in the gym every day, priceless. 
I'm listening to podcasts. I'm listening to books on tape. I'm listening to new albums. Basically just having a great time with them. Now, I would love to tell you exactly how cheap you can get these for right now, but you're going to have to hit the link in the description because the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales that they're doing for these Raycon headphones are absolutely out of control, and I don't want to be uh, caught on camera saying the wrong price. So check the link down below in the description, and I'm sure that you'll be absolutely amazed by this product. Shout out to my man, Ray J. You did it again, my friend. Let's go. That's crazy, yeah, because I was thinking about it, and I'm like, this seems like... I've been having this conversation with other people who are kind of experimenting with the idea of either having an app or a website or whatever where you could pay X amount of dollars and people get you know early access to your content or you make some sort of unfiltered content that wouldn't go on YouTube, that kind of thing. And it's like, if you can get a relatively small amount of money out of people, then that seems like it's kind of the way. Getting those reoccurring subscriptions every month seems like the way that people who are really cashing out are doing it now. Yeah. Did you really feel like you were that held back about YouTube that you couldn't make the stuff you wanted to make, or is it just that they were demonetizing the? Well, they're first demonetizing everything, and I always had Vitaly uncensored in mind. So I was like, I pre-filmed probably first season four years ago, and I was just sitting on footage. I was like, I can't find a guy. All this, like the website developer, like oh, I'm too lazy. And then one day I just woke up and said, "Fucking, it's action!" And I met Kinsey, and she saw this. She's like, "What the fuck are you sitting on? This is great." So thank you, Kinsey, again for pushing me. And she pushed me, and I fucking launched it, and it's great. I pre-filmed six months uh, worth of episodes in probably a week or two, and they're all quality episodes. You know, put my heart and soul into it, and the feedback has been pretty good. Mm. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. Do you, so do you have you seen anybody else who's been able to sort of do like the premium snap model but as a dude or are you the first one through um i, I don't i don't know so i don't want to say i'm the first one right. but i i think so because i know a lot i've heard of that conversation well there's a lot guys, of guys there's guys that jer jerking off right right yeah yeah, yeah true. like yeah so gay male for, porn gay, stars and gay, shit, yeah. gay for pay right but you're <laughs> yeah. not you're not willing to take it there is that how do you decide on just topless like is there a part of you that wanted to do an actual porn site? Do you think that you would lose some of your audience if you actually started to drop like exclusive, like real porn? On no, them? I wouldn't do it. I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm gonna show the reality of girls. Like I'm getting a 200 foot yacht next summer in Italy, inviting 30 naked girls. And I'm just filming drama on TV. Like whatever happens, happens. I'm just there following with the cameras. Wow. Yeah, but um, no, no porno, but there's definitely, Gonna be some sex, crazy sex pranks, not included me, not because I can't get hard. <laughs> Roasting myself. You're doing all right in that regard? Fucking yeah, the Cialis has been crazy. Good. Really? You're yeah. on that shit? Yeah, the Cialis. God well, damn. I, yeah, it's Cialis is good for pump. Look at these veins. I took it this morning. It's I heard testosterone is good for that too. Those testosterone are some serious is amazing. Veins. FDA approved, no bad top shit. My blood works 100 out of 100. I go every month so people can roast me all they want for steroids. Even if you took steroids, you will never look like me. I like Thank it you. though because I am a big, I, I haven't, I did a three month cycle when I was 22, uh -huh. 35 right now. So I'm very far removed from it. But my experience was phenomenal. It was great. Like I the, feel like God. Yeah, it's it's really like people think like like I had a conversation on the podcast the other day about it, and people think that it's like bad for you. I'm like, it's not bad for you. It's not like doing coke where you feel bad and then you where you feel good and then you feel bad. Well, after. it's the other steroids like Tren and all that shit. Well, so, you don't fuck with Tren. I think that's what I, I was on back in the day. No, I use I used to fuck with that. Not anymore. I took like some Anovar. It's uh -huh. like a crazy fat burner, but. Uh, human growth hormone. I hopped on that. You're fuck. a big HGH fan. Oh, fuck. I got the number one prescription in the world. Do you fuck. have that little like fucking shooter yes. thing? I've yeah. seen no, that. No, I don't even uh, need to suck it out. It's a pen. I twist it. Yeah, it's it. like a twist pen fucking, thing. Yeah, yeah. I feel great. Uh, I don't know. People say I'm starting to look younger. Again, but I've so. seen Brendan Schaub saying that you got to be on it for like at least a couple of months before you can really notice with the GH. Been on for a year now. On a year straight? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a year straight and testosterone probably three years without coming off my, my blood work. Three years? I'm liver 100%, kidneys 100%, everything's How many great. times you shoot up a week? Three times. Three times a week, Jesus Christ. Yeah, no and uh, what I was gonna say, oh yeah, so people think steroids are like fucking magic, you shoot it up and you're gonna look like this. No, my no. discipline is crazy. I do an hour cardio every morning, fasted, I fucking eat chicken and broccoli. Am I miserable? A little bit, but it's worth it at the end. But are you working towards getting to a physical state or do you feel like you're already there and that's what you need to do to maintain? I think I'm fat right now. Fat? It's fucked up. You dude. have a six pack right now, I'm assuming? Yeah, I wanna see it. And you feel fat? Why? Yeah, let's see. Yeah, why not? For the girls out there. Oh, shit. More of this I'll on Vitaly on Sensei. I'm gonna shut it off. I don't know how the lighting is it good. <laughs> the lighting.
Sorry. Sorry. This dude's chiseled right chiseled. here. Chiseled. But uh, actually, you know what's funny? I signed up for Man Physique 2020 just because if I, because I have a lot of bodybuilders DMing me like you should try it and if you win it's going to be the greatest story ever. Is that like because, a classic bodybuilding type thing? It's not like a yeah. super huge no, monster no, thing. No, Man Physique, my two, 200 pounds. Because they have I'm, all these different categories now. Yeah, no, the the number one, like simple one, the just Man Physique, five eleven, two hundred pounds, and yeah. And the funny thing is, I'm going to Antarctica on a cruise ship twelve days before, so I'm gonna fucking be. Working out in Antarctica on the ship, and uh, and if I win, I'm gonna win. <laughs> it's the greatest fucking story. Came flew straight from Antarctica to Ohio to compete. Wow, that is great. Are you? Uh, have you always been sort of interested in the bodybuilding thing, or? I, I got to start working out when I was 16 and oh, it just okay. became an addiction. Every time I go to the gym, it just feels so good after like, it's like really stress really. You've always felt this way. Even like through your whole YouTube career, you were always like focused on working out and shit. Yeah. But it was like this. Hmm. Now it's like, I'm disciplined. I can't go back to being fucking chubby bunny. Hmm. No way. It just feels good. Cause when you look good, you feel good. So, right. You know? Yeah. Definitely. Um, but man, being on it for three years straight, I thought that that was like out of the question. I didn't think I don't anybody blast. did that. I don't straight. abuse it, man. I do it safely and I go to the doctor every month. Right. Yeah. And I, it's, I don't do bathtub shit. I do FDA approved. My name is on the label. Mm. Damn. It's crazy. I'm yeah. out here getting tempted. I'm like, man, my feels kind of. Oh, you got like the tats. Idea. You look scary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just focused on losing weight right now because I still got like at least like 20, 30 pounds I'm trying to lose before I really even think about that kind of shit. Yeah. But I, I respect it. Who now that Logan Paul seems like he's kind of out of the question, I'm not sure if he's even thinking about fighting again. Who do you think would be a good opponent? Are you focused on this? It's funny. I can probably say it now. It's me and Bradley. You and Bradley. Yeah, I think he's he said he's down. And I told him and I told everybody, don't drop your weight. Stay 260. I'll take you at 200. 200. Yeah, I don't care. I'm not. I bro, I fought a bull. I got my jaw broken <laughs> saw... by a 1300 pound bull. My jaw was completely to the left of me, and I still was able to do an outro. I was still be able to fucking get up and like nothing happened. And, you know, and guess what? I'm talking all this big talk. I get knocked out, I get knocked out. But if he loses, he loses everything. If I lose, it's much bigger than me. So, but, but how does he lose everything? He doesn't really, nobody looks at Bradley. I know, but he's you not know, really like, I know, a but you, you, a know, you would never expect Bradley to lose. But no, yeah, if he true. wants to draw, I don't know. If the, I know the, if Logan, if me and Logan fought, the money would have been great. I don't know the money for this. And obviously, you know, it's business. So I'm not just going to fucking dedicate six months out of my life to train for mm. a penny. Have you, know, you been be straight up? Have you been training boxing at all? Uh, but yeah, I'm actually going to Mayweather's been going to Mayweather gym. I got a session tomorrow at 5 a.m. Okay. So you have yeah. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. What I'm, kind of schedule are you on? I'm f up at 4 a.m. every day. Okay. I, I slept two hours. I went to the gym, did an hour cardio. Just two like, hours. I went to sleep at two because I had to pick up my girlfriend from the airport. I woke up at four, went straight for an hour cardio, went home to eat, went to the gym with the trainer, came back and been working since, and I'm here at the podcast. No nap. Let's You're really go. making me feel like I'm not doing enough. Bro, bro, honestly, I'm addicted. I've been listening to so many fucking books, and it's been changing my life. Like, I never believed in books. I know it sounds stupid, but I gave it a try. I don't fucking read. Audible.com. <laughs> Wow. Brand, brand deal hit me up yeah, yeah, but yeah. Uh, yeah no it's been great i'm an hour cardio i'm listening to a book yeah it's productive it starts it's best medicine in the morning i'm really working to get into the hour cardio a day because i've been forcing myself to do a half hour every day this week and it's 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 not that the physical part obviously uh, i don't run i hate running no i don't run either level either. level 15 speed three no handle bars or whatever three miles per hour on 15 yeah, on 15 i'm doing like four but on like a four yeah like four <laughs> miles per hour and it's out of four you think incline. it's hard you get used to it it starts probably going to be hard at first but, but do you feel do you do that because you think that's your optimal fat burning zone or is that just like challenge wise where you like challenge that? wise and now i'm addicted now if i skip a day of cardio i'll go crazy yeah so but it's a good habit to have definitely you feel like you have sort of i'm unhealthy. drenched i'm drenched in sweat you, you feel like you're almost getting like an eating disorder like unhealthy relationship with it no i cheat once a week so every sunday i go to my in and out to get three by three two of those and then i go to get three bowl three things of halo top and i get 
10 chocolate chip cookies. Halo top. I'm doing one thing at Ben and Jerry's, not three Halo tops. Oh, uh, three Halo tops and 10 chocolate. Make Damn. sure my cheat meal so cheat is good. Do you and feel like that cheat meal really fucking gets your metabolism going crazy and you just. <laughs> Next day, I wake up fucking full, veiny and shit. And yeah, it's crazy. I just always wonder if that shit continues to work super good when you're already in shape as good as yours because I keep having that fucking problem where I'm eating super healthy and the weight's coming off, but slowly. And then I went to New York for four or five days. I'm eating bagels. I'm eating pizza. I come home. I gained a little bit of weight, but then like two days later, I'm fucking I down way more. Yeah, uh, that happens. But it's evil because it sort of fucks you up because then you have to be able to trust yourself to be able to eat the burger and then not keep eating burgers I on train Monday. My, I train myself every time I travel, I work out. Before, that's what I would do. I would get ripped for the trip. Oh, I'm going to example dubai right oh it looks so good i'm so gonna take off my shirt at the pool party yeah. and then i go and then i don't work out i come back fat as fuck so now every trip i've been like in thailand with brad every i work out and i die no fucking excuses no more I, really i'm staying all year round and if i slip up i'm always gonna come back but so far so good Damn, that's dope. I need to have that mentality because for me, when I think about going on vacation, I think about gaining weight and losing muscle. <laughs> and it's just there's no chance that I'm fucking staying where I should be because, I mean, I, I can't go to a lot of restaurants and just order a salad and assume shit's going to be all right. Yeah. I just don't trust salads from a lot of places, you know. But that's, fuck, that's fuck bullshit. A, fuck a salad, You can man. order chicken. You chicken, can order whatever, yeah. yeah. And the best part about it, like especially Asia, the food is so good. It's like organic, organic, everything. Like Bali, Bali has the best f food. Like you know, you get eight ounces of chicken. Blah blah. Anyways, right. I feel like this is a fucking fitness channel. No, <laughs> you kind of took it there for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, no. What's next? But so okay, what uh, the Bradley fight is what you really have in mind? You really because when I talk to him about it, he goes, "I'm 260." Like, who the fuck am I gonna fight at 260? But to be to, to be on the DAZN thing, because I just had Adam Sauer and Slim in here, they were telling me that you have to actually meet at a weight in order to be on DAZN. Oh, really? And that that's like a big problem will, for them. He will never lose weight for a fight. I mean, he I'm loves be, his size. He worked way too hard for all that muscle. I ain't yeah. going to let that go for no reason. Fuck it. If it happens, it happens. I'm not sweating about it. I said, hey, come back with numbers. If we both agree, we agree. If it doesn't happen, uh, I think Logan's still down. So Could you imagine yourself gaining like 30 pounds and then him losing 30 pounds? I could do that. You'd hate I, yourself, that, though. No, that would be easy. You'd walk because I would be looking at yourself in the mirror like, Ugh. No, I would be 30 pounds full, full of muscle. I, just, beast. I would be eating fucking 30 ounces of chicken per meal. Yeah. Because I love to eat. I can eat. So It's tough to look like a big, strong man when your body fat is super low. But it's easy to look like a big, strong man when you're kind of fat. Yeah. Because I'm looking at myself in the mirror now like, man, if I keep losing all this fat, I'm going to look like such a pussy. Because I've felt like kind of a big guy my whole life. But you it's, look great, man. It's not that much know. muscle. It's a lot of fat. Yeah. You know? You look fine. I oh, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so are you, you're totally over the porn thing? That's not going to happen again anytime soon? No. No. <laughs> not at all. I mean, whatever. I did one recently. Really? For Pornhub. It's coming out soon, yeah. That's hot. <laughs> that's hot did you, did you get hard <laughs> hell yeah it was hard as a rock i didn't have any problems but nice and i've never done the cls or the Vi viagra these dudes shoot up their dicks oh trust me i don't even you, I got you've that. done it no i haven't done it but i got it coming you got it coming I'm in the mail I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it fuck yeah fuck wow it. but i don't honestly i don't need it because i have a girlfriend so it's like i get hard but the doctor told me this is the best like for fucking if you have orgies immediately as soon as you shoot your dick it goes up no matter how nervous you are who's in front of you and it just stays for four hours and i'm like uh i just want to try it when's the last orgy you had <sighs> probably like two three years ago okay so you're... i've been dating kinsey for two years but she's not down for that nah you're over that part of your life would you still be doing it if you could fuck man i feel like i did everything it's crazy really you feel like you i did feel it all. i feel amazing settled down it's been great Love is real. But you still fuck with the Cialis just to keep your, your wifey happy? Uh, no, I don't need it. She can't put it down. Really? Yes, but I take Cialis. Good pump for the gym. Oh, it's good for the gym, yeah, too. Yeah, bodybuilders take it before their workout because you got the blood flowing through your whole body, so you just look humongous. You look humongous, but is, is it basically... You're in there with a boner? Uh, That'd be weird like, for me. Most of the trainers yeah, in my never, gym are gay. I don't know if I feel uh, that <laughs> I, I never... No, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I take a little bit... <laughs> But there was a time, yeah, where you like cough and you just get heart. You're like, <coughs> Whoa, <laughs> yeah. that's actually a nightmare for me. I've been in the gym before and like ended up talking about something sexual with my trainer. And then all of a sudden I'm like thinking about sex too much. And I look down and I'm like, no, <laughs> chill. 
That's funny. It's usually pretty easy. Um, okay, but so what else is like, like, what's the focus in Vitality's life at this point? Because I understand the boxing thing. You got the, sensor, the uncensored side, but it seems like you don't really have to put that much time into that. I love traveling. I love traveling. I got two businesses coming out. I can't say what. They're about to launch and they should be pretty good. I invented a few things that I know should be good. So but you feel like you have space in your life for more businesses? Yeah. Yeah, but honestly, just traveling. I just want to make sure before I die, I can say I've been to every country in the world. How close are you? <laughs> pretty far. I'm like 40 countries in. I feel like a lot of the countries are pretty redundant. But I want to travel so when I have a kid, I can say I've done it all and actually focus on my kid. You know, not. Do you see your life like fundamentally changing once you have a kid? Fuck. I don't know. If it's a girl, she's going down the trash bin. But if it's a <laughs> boy. <laughs> well, you don't think you could handle having a daughter? Uh, I don't know what I would do with a daughter. How would you, you you raise her just like any other human being? You just don't get to teach them about getting pussy. Unless yeah, they're into that. Eventually I'll probably, saw, I'll probably saw her pussy so she doesn't ever have sex. Yeah, you are from that side of the world where they do that, huh? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> they do that in Russia? <laughs> no, I know. It's fucked up. No, all, FGM all. endorsement? This podcast oh. brought to you by female genital mutilation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just, no, I don't know. First of all, I don't even know when I have the kids, but... I feel like your girl would probably not be happy about the idea of pushing her back in or throwing her out or mutilating oh, her. Oh, we already talked about that. Really? She's not into having a daughter either? No, no. She She's ready to be next to the stairs. The stairs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to knock my girl up right now. So all of a sudden these yeah. jokes seem very risque, even though this is the kind of shit I was saying. Actually, I'm going to... Actually, I'm going mm, no, to... I'm not going to say anything because I was going to do a prank. But probably so many people watching, they're going to go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That whole family. Are you ready to be a family YouTuber? Do you think that's inevitable? <laughs> Kinsey jokes about all the time. If we get a baby, we'll get more likes. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's probably like Ace Family and shit. Yeah. they're killing it. What do you think of them? I don't know nothing about them. I just see the views. I'm like, good for them. The views are insane. The views are insane. And when you watch the videos, it's kind of like there's not a lot happening. It's like he's talking all excited into the camera. She's sitting there looking hot. Re oh, like the kid I saw is really cute, playing with stuff, whatever. But I saw the reviewing Halloween costume. We were like, that oh. was a weird one, <laughs> because it, when it went live, and I'm not, I'm not hating if they're watching this. I'm just like, yeah, that, that's what YouTube loves. Listen, kids they, content. They changed the title after a little bit, but the title at first was like the kid, like kids react to my seductive Halloween costume. It's oh like, my god, are you serious? Seductive in the title with kids? That's a little weird. Yeah, that is I mean, obviously she's hot, so it's like going to be a little seductive no matter what she's wearing. Yeah. But it wasn't that seductive. It's like you don't have to call the video that. Yeah. Are you on Facebook? Facebook is killing it right now. That's You're doing good on there? <laughs> so this You're is really funny speaking story. to my interests here. But a funny thing is that for two years, I was just 3.3 .3 mil, just sitting dead. Cha you weren't channels. using it at all. And I was like, I can't do it. Every time I upload a video, I get 10,000 views. I'm like, with 3 million followers, I'm like, okay, done. So I get this company to run for me. And it was like a 50-50 split. And uh, they upload videos still barely pull, pulling 100,000 views. <sighs> I go to my friend, Crazy Russian Hacker. You know, the ru Crazy Russian that does crazy experiments? No, uh, but okay. No, Crazy Russian Hacker. Anyways, Taras. And he shows me how to use Facebook. Like, you know, just be like, this is what you do. This is the best for it. I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try. Okay. You ready? 3.5 mil. Hold on, sorry. It's uh, um, seven mil, six mil, and one two point four mil, half a million, one point six, half a million. So all the regular 000. videos are doing super good right now. I'm re-uploading my old content, but I figure out the form to do it and the thumbnails and this. I'm learning, and I'm fucking making insane money on Facebook. So thank you, Facebook. Wow, that's crazy because we've so, just yeah, been you working on, on Facebook. Yeah, we've been working on it the past couple of weeks. The link is right in the description, right, right at the top. No jumper Facebook. Follow that. Um, yeah. Like that, whatever the fuck it is. Um, what, but is there anything significant that he showed you that besides just like normal, like good thumbnails? No, he just said it's fucking easy. He's like, why are you giving company 50%? You just click upload and you can schedule it. So you do it every Sunday for the whole fucking week. So I do it the, before I go to bed and uh, I just started cutting videos and I gave it a try. And it's the format, you know, I think it's 10. 1080 by 1080 so you can't really actually copy the youtube video you know what i mean oh yeah you yeah, can make like a the, square with the big title make, at the top and shit no no that's back in the day that's no. over so just 1080 oh. by 1080 
Yeah. So just like this. I'm gonna yeah. take a look at your uh, at your Facebook because yeah, started started because I'm killing. It. Damn, that's cool to know. Too. I just started. I just started two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah, you got back I got, into it. I got like 40 million views already. My problem is that we were going hard with it when we were doing the BMX videos back up until like 2013. But then when I got more into the rap world, I was kind of like, none of these people give a fuck about Facebook. But I was wrong. Yeah, yeah no, you're wrong. Because I see most of the videos and probably on Facebook. Yeah, just because like a lot of like, like Facebook is like older, normal people. You know, middle America. You yeah, know? Like, and those are the kind the of people that the still comments, fall for prank videos. The comments actually not like gay. There's, there's <laughs> the comments like if they hate, they will write you a nice paragraph, mm. like formally all written out. Facebook, there's so many freaky things that go on. Like when I'm on it, I literally the other day saw my my aunt complaining about the service at a Walmart on Facebook. Wait, what? Like she just was pop, the video just popped up. No, mm. no, no, no. She commented on the Facebook page of the Walmart complaining about the service at the Walmart. And Facebook was like, maybe you're interested in your 68 year old aunt complaining about the service at Walmart. And I was like, wow, <laughs> I am interested in that. That's amazing. Uh, Thank you, Facebook, for showing me that. Wow, Crazy, that's a whole different world out there, man. Yeah. Do you feel like, is there any chance of someone like you, is the, is the era of someone like you building a platform and a home on YouTube, a community, is that over because of the demonetization shit? Absolutely. I yeah. mean, like pranks? I mean, just in general, like someone like you who has a little bit, like me, who has like an edgier sense of humor. Yeah. Like, you know, for us, like when we're doing this, it's like we pretty much have to get brand deals on the videos for the videos to earn any significant amount of money. Yeah. It's still not that significant, mm -hmm. but it's good, you know? Yeah. Shout out to our sponsor on this video. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's like nowadays it's kind of become like that is the way. That's the option because you just can't rely on YouTube. No, like, YouTube, I know. Like my girlfriend out there, she st uh, she streaked it. She killed it, you know. She keeps uploading she videos, but on, she's killing on Instagram. She's trying to grow her YouTube and honestly, yeah, dude, for the views, but you're not going to get any money. Like every video demonetized. Like my Friday the 13th prank with 40 million views got taken down. I uploaded five years. An old years one? Ago. Wow. An old Chainsaw Massacre, my masterpiece with like 60 million got taken down. Inappropriate content. First of all, yeah, those pranks were real. But what if it was a fucking sketch? Yeah. You know what I mean? Me dr running with a chainsaw, chasing my friends. So it's like, it's just really fucked up. And especially when you vlog and there's a song playing a oh, mile yeah. away and the, the YouTube recognizes one word, copy, right, But strike. now these days, it's not that YouTube's copyright ID system has to even detect that song. It's that someone from the label or whatever will watch the video and go out of their way to claim the song. Yeah. And I notice that sometimes we won't get it because maybe our channel isn't necessarily big enough, but then I'll hear about PewDiePie getting his channel claimed because he hummed a little part of a song, you know? And because he's such a big target, that they're like really going out of their way to catch well, him. Well, first of all, YouTube, where's my fucking diamond plaque? They won't release it. They I, won't. No, because I because I promoted Vitalian censored before 10 million subscribers. I got a strike. You got a strike. I got a strike. Mm. Listen to this. So I took off all the links. As soon as the strike expires, the next day they gave me a strike for the fucking same thing without me promoting it. So they like went back. And I contacted my network. They said, okay, in December they're gonna release it. But honestly, I don't know. After my fucking, if you guys check out my Facebook banner, it says YouTube is for fucking pussies. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed the merch, yeah. Yeah, the merch. Uh, the merch is great. People love it. People are dying laughing at the game. So People are enjoying that. That's kind of like the new marketing slogan and shit. Fuck, that's it. Well, I'm making bill bill billboards around LA. Just saying YouTube is for pussies. No, no. YouTube, actually, that's just great by itself. No, it's me in action pointing a gun at this black guy down as a cop because it wasn't stage, it was a frame from a video. So we had a topless girl in the back of the cop car. She was like screaming for help, topless, can you let me out? And this black dude runs up and it's like opens the door. It's me with a donut in my mouth with a coffee. And I'm like, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want. It's my sight. So I pull out this fake gun and he like, oh, gets on the ground. So it says Vitalian Sensor season three premiering now on the left side. And on the right, it says, in the middle, it's a picture. And then it says, YouTube is for fucking pussies. Here, you want to see a picture? Yeah, sure. Wait, but so this really happened? This black dude wasn't an actor? <laughs> and you pointed a gun at him? 
okay so what i mean well well, one billboard denied because they said it's controversial but like but yo we live in 2019 it's fucking comedy like (sighs) if you get hurt if you get hurt but i'm sorry but if you get hurt by that that's i I don't agree with that sorry you can be and obviously most people don't carry guns but what if he had pulled out a gun and shot you well that would have been my fault guess what it was i would have i would have i would have stepped it in the grave I'm serious. Your I'm, family would just have to accept it. He <laughs> lived a prankster and he died a prankster. Nah, I mean, it was just, uh, if, if it was a white guy, I would have done it too. It's right. not like I was just waiting for the black guy. But you did know? anybody call you racist for this? Uh, I mean, the picture got 100,000 likes. I'm not really like super concerned about the racist part. Nah, I'm more just I'm like not, the I'm safety not element. I'm not racist. I have black friends. I have this. I don't give a fuck. Like, if that offends you, go fuck yourself. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, but I mean, you you sort of are like this like outlaw YouTube type character where, yeah. and I'm, I'm sort of in the same category where we make like edgy offensive content. And yeah. it's just, we're always trying to skirt around like on YouTube, trying to just barely get by. We've done an okay job. But with you, like you've gone full renegade. Like you're like, you know, the united states in 1776 you just fucking split fuck the queen we're starting our own little continent that'll, over here. that'll, that'll catch your attention on a billboard on sunset holy shit what is that what girl is that friend city i know her she was on here the other day yeah oh, that, that picture's not as dramatic as i thought it was i thought you were gonna have your fucking foot on his neck or something <laughs> she got that crazy uh, six pack know. though huh uh yeah you guys want to zoom in which camera oh there's no yeah there. we can put it on the screen point. if you want to send it to uh, us just fuck it yeah anyways yeah that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. For that. What's it? We're like thirty-five minutes in. So theoretically, you know, we could wrap it up here. No, nah, like I'm not in the rush. I'm just like right. I mean, it's just such an interesting idea to like really figure out how you could like kind of use YouTube to build a platform and then go off site to really, I'm just, I'm obsessed with the fucking subscription model now. When I think about what you're doing, I think about these OnlyFans girls are doing. I'm like, there's got to be something that isn't a full-fledged porn site that I would be able to do. But, and then that's the problem too, is that you can't have like a Vitaly Uncensored app. No, I think there's ways to work around it, but I'm not really, I don't really care for it right now. Yeah. But let's talk about fucking Instagram taking off likes today. That happened today? Yep, there's no more likes. Well, I mean, that might be just you. Because so I heard it's only No, I mean, it's, not, it's some people, but right. uh, one, one account has it, one doesn't. What do you think? They're gonna bring it back, right? Because it's kind of fucked up. It's like, then you don't have, I mean, not about motivation, but it's like, you don't know who fucking liked it. So you don't know if you're doing a good job yeah. by uploading good content. I you feel know? old school because I'm looking at my photos and I can still see the likes. I'm like, no. what the fuck is this? I don't want this. I don't want it says old like, school people. It says, uh, um, one second. <laughs> I go to my second account. It says Vitaly ZDTV and thousands of others liked it. That's easy. I think they're going to keep it for a day or two. I think people are going to complain. But the thing is, is that they've already tested it in Canada and shit, and they think that it's actually a good thing. Yeah. Which pisses me off, too. Because I I will forever be looking through my DM requests, and I'll see a message from somebody with 2 million followers, and they get 200 likes on their photos, and I'm like, it's some random ass dude. But then you can't see the likes, too. If you want to click who actually, how many people actually liked it, you can't. You would have to count it one by one. Yeah. It doesn't show on top. I know, and it's scary. Well, it's fucked up. Part so. of what people are saying is that they think it's so that the brands who are doing all these brand deals basically oh, yeah, will do true. those brand deals through Instagram because Instagram is now the ones who have the access to the to the stats and it's like but that's the thing is you privately are able to view how many likes your shit gets so you're gonna be able to submit that shit to brands and say what do you mean no i just said but i think that there's a way like the people in canada told me that you can view your likes through your dashboard or whatever like if you go through and look at your insights for your post okay and then you could send that to brands but then at the same time i mean why would a brand necessarily believe your screenshot when before it was so easy to just see x amount of likes yeah crazy that's why we're on facebook well, thank God that Instagram has still a swipe up link. Yeah, for now. My yeah. girlfriend got caught up for the same exact thing that you did, where she put her fucking link to her, her the Only website fans. link. Yeah, to I only just some girl texted me this morning. I got shadow banned. I got seven stories taken down in one day. On Instagram? Yeah. Because like, you tagged the... But no, I just... Uh, because it, I barely blurred the nipples to promote the episode, and then seven stories got taken down. Thank God I'm only shadow banned. I heard from some porn sites that what they do is that they compl- they create like a completely separate, you know, Vitaly X Uncensored dot com, doing, yeah. and you make that that completely clean. And yep. you, but you can sign up through there, and then it leads you. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's smart. Yeah, yeah. you got to be really on top of like the 
technological challenges with this sort of business, huh? Yeah, well, Mr. Skin runs my site. Okay. They've been around since the 90s. They're the biggest celebrity porn website. Really? Yeah, you know, like, they don't do, like, penetration porn. It's all the biggest actresses, actors, porn scenes from movies. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they've been around for years. They're, like, number one. They're successful. We partner up, 52 employees working with Italian Sensor office in Chicago. So, like I said, I have nothing to worry about. Why is the office in Chicago? Well, that's where they at. So, why do you want? Oh, that's where they're. That's okay. where they at. So, so, you partnered up with them. Yeah. What percentage do you own of Vitaly Uncensored? Uh, high. High percentage. High. Not no. Fifty-one forty-nine. Ha. <laughs> Think about it like maybe 80 20. Really? Yeah. Wow. So the game has yeah. changed. Yeah, the game changed. Because yeah. these days, if you're like a rapper and you want to get a deal, they're not going to spell it out for you like well, that. Well, I didn't need, I kind of, I mean, I needed them, but they needed me too because they saw the potential. You had a lot and, of options uh, for you, you probably could have worked on it. Oh, that. yeah. I had some, like I said, Bang Bros, Brazzers. Oh, uh, reach out to me, and I think that was the best deal. Part of what I'm worried about when I was thinking about because I was reading like a, I was reading these Howard Stern interviews that he did, uh, and he was interviewing, what's her name, Amy from Parks and Rec. He's interviewing her, and he starts just saying, like, so, like, talking to her about what she might be down for in the bedroom. And he's like, so you would let me put ice cream on your vagina and lick it off? She's like, yeah, I'd be into that. I'm like, just pitch, I'm trying to picture myself saying that to a girl on the podcast. I'm like... I don't know if I want to be the dude who's like, because that's what I think if we were to make an X-rated No Jumper site, that that's what it would probably end up being is like porn star interviews where we get them to fucking bend over and shove a candle up their ass or something. No, not a candle, an ice cream. You ice cream. Finger, they finger themselves with an ice cream, yeah. Yeah. I mean, really the question is just how horny people are. I guess the, the, what we've found from yours is that people are really, really horny. I guess. <laughs> you, you think, so you think actually there's kids actually jerking off? You video. don't think people are jerking off to your shit? I don't want to believe it. I know why they're going to jerk off. Well, maybe porn stars, you can. there's girls that actually just do OnlyFans, so you can imagine them. But I think that actually porn creeps that like actually fans of Pornhub, they want to go because it's they're naked and in like a natural environment. So it's not like the light settings, camera, action, porno. Mm. You know what I mean? They're that's actually, interesting. Like, that's what I think. That's what it... But, I mean, if people like your shit for that reason, then wouldn't people want to see well, porn stars do interviews topless for exactly the same reason? It's no, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. You should. I mean, I'm doing that too, but I'm not going to. But you should do that. I drive around the car. I do, mm. like, carpool karaoke. My problem is that I've, like, I put dick on my girlfriend and her friends already on social media. So What do you mean? What, dick? Like, I fuck my girlfriend and her friends on their Snapchats and shit. Really? Yeah. But you don't see your face, of course, right? You kind of do. Oh, you um, don't care? And I did a real porno that's not out yet. But really? yeah, so I don't really give a fuck. But that's the thing is then, like, I feel like if I were to do, like, an X-rated site, that then people are going to expect me to also be fucking the girls, which just might be all right, because realistically, if I'm making Vitaly Uncensored money, hell, I'll fucking lay out pipe all day. That's fine. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Yeah. But you got a, like, a lot of girl fans on, nah. YouTube, on YouTube? No. Like all dudes. So yeah, dudes don't, don't want to sign up to see your dick. They want to see the girls. Oh, but they want to see the girls. Fuck by my dick. Oh, so boom, there we go. You got it. No jumper uncensored. 100K a month in the first month probably. You didn't feel that the five five dollars a month was really working? What do you mean? No. Like, what, like was the five dollars a month? Did you end up just looking at it like this isn't enough to cover how much we're spending, and I think I could get more out of it? No, I was making great money for four nine and four nine. That's a uh, that's Mr. Skin. They're like, what the fuck? No, bump it up. It's gonna go to sign up now because if you sign up now for fourteen ninety nine, you're gonna stay like this. But it's going up to four twenty four ninety nine. Come on, bro. Only be the elites have access. Yeah, and then. So and, and so, wait. You get money from the porn companies because they run ads on your site? No, just affiliate links. So you run ads on their shit. On their yeah, but we do both. And then also, a lot of people just when they sign up, you know, they they say if you also want to be a member of this. Oh fuck! Forgot not to mention. Let's mention Vitaly Cam Girls. So pretty much, I did see that section of the site. I was trying to figure out how that works. Yeah. So pretty much, you already type in the mic. You type in the credit card in uh, Vitaly and Sensor to sign up Vitaly and Sensor. You go to Vitaly's g girls, horny dudes, fucking tip. They just get fifty percent of all their tips. So and the girls are already there twenty four seven doing their shit. So wow. So yeah, That's it's brilliant. pretty good. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. I'm just growing the business. So and. 
And thanks for enjoying Vitaly's Scam Girls. I'm trying to uh, tip yeah, more. You should put me in touch with this company that does your shit because oh, I'm starting yeah, right. to yeah, right, yeah, Wait, yeah, wait, yeah. you think we're in competition? Uh, no, I'm kidding. You already uh, said the name of it. I'll just hit they, them. They, no, they're, no, they're probably, they're, they're, they're busy. They're busy. <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a few other people I get it out too. No, I'm kidding. Oh, no, if you're really actually serious, I'll hook you up. Yeah, but I'll I mean. I'll put you in touch. Maybe they could. I'm sure they want some extra money. I mean, it's. Who just, doesn't want money? I'm just slowly starting to feel like. The subscription monthly thing is the only real way to try to do a business based off of like internet clout at this point. Yeah, for sure. But it's tough to get to that because it's like you got to really be making content that is so different from what the average. Like, there's a reason why, you know, if PewDiePie started a site trying to charge ten dollars a month to watch his shit, I don't know how good it would do because it's just it's not it's not gonna feel like something that you should be paying for. But then as soon as a girl takes a shirt off on your shit, it's like, well, there's there's the shit you're paying for. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody uh, doing anything exciting on YouTube from your perspective? Is there, has there have you felt inspiration in recent memory, or is it just kind of zero? I don't zero. go on YouTube anymore. You're over it. I upload just videos. I film for Instagram now, and whatever I have left, I upload on YouTube. I don't care. Like this video, this I just did with Tiger and Lions in 2014. That video would get 30 million views in one in one day, and I know that for a fact. On Facebook, it did well, for like four mil, three mil. And I did this roller coaster prank where I pretended like I unscrewed the screwdriver, the screw from the roller coaster. I was sitting next to strangers. That video got 40 million views in like maybe five days on Facebook. On YouTube, it didn't even have half a million in a year. In 2014, that video would have been at 50, 60 million on YouTube. Mm. YouTube changed so much. The game is changing, man. Yeah. Part of the fear, though, is that so many people watch content on their TVs. You know, through like they pick the different app or whatever, yeah. or, or they watch the shit on their phone. I'm sure you guys have a good online like mobile site, right? Yeah, yeah. That's just that's the main thing I'm worried about, and that's why I really think it's fucked up. They need to be able to let you have apps that have porn on them. Fuck Apple, <laughs> Android too. Fuck them. Um, Metro PCS. Yeah. Are you, you? I feel like you're the kind of guy who's just sort of like a. An entertainer for hire like you are just out there looking for the next opportunity of how you're gonna fucking increase your platform how you're gonna get your brand name out there and you've like gone in so many different ways at this point but well i do that but i also do it for me it's i get i get high off of it it's not about, about the money like me streaking it's the fucking adrenaline because i know not a lot of people can say they did it or not a lot of people would want to do it so it's like you know i get high off of that it's like it's like me taking fucking molly like when i streak the world cup it's still, until today, I can say it was the best feeling of my life. You were probably on Molly when you did that, though, right? Fuck no. no. I, never, I never did. I never did in my life video under any influence of drugs or alcohol. What's it take to I get you to do some drugs or alcohol, though, at this point? Like, if, if somebody started racking up coke on this table after the camera went off, are you like, all right? No, nah, it's a, I got 6 a.m. gym session tomorrow. I mean, you're on two hours sleep. You might need some cocaine. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> uh, you meet me at the festival. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> festival. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, I can't. I feel. I don't feel like I can. Nah, do that I shit try anymore. all that shit. I don't like it. I, don't think I, I can like. Do it. I like what I like. I don't even drink alcohol. I used to drink a lot. Like not a lot, but a you, lot. You don't you need know. those calories, right? No extra calories. But I, the white claws are the shit. The, I'm not you're into lie. the white claws. I fucking love. Them. I still haven't tried it. Are you serious, no. dude? The buzz is the buzz is amazing from those. Like you drink one, you okay. It hits you right away, so you feel where it level you on. You drink two, you're good. It's not like alcohol, and boom, you're like yeah. this. And it tastes like water, you know, like juice. So you're like, Psh. yeah, yeah. Might be a pussy drink. You guys probably, oh, he likes white claws. I don't give a fuck. It's a, it's a different type of buzz. So you definitely should try it. I mean, it's just changed a lot because ten years ago I was drinking four locos on the regular. So. <sighs> that's fu that's fucking sugar with the caffeine. That's sugar. Oh yeah, that's fucking. <laughs> your mouth is like, <laughs> yeah. In retrospect. I don't know what the fuck I was doing because I need like every time I ever drank lean in the past couple of years, I pretty much needed like a gallon of water next to me because I just can't handle all that sugar. I'm just not used to it. You still drink lean? Yeah, once in a blue. Really? How does it make you feel? Sleepy, drowsy. It's kind of nice though if you if you're in the right state of mind. I've so had, why, so why do like like what are you, the reason the rappers drink? It's just a generation. What's like why? It's just really. Why like, the fuck do you want to be drowsy in the wake? Like if I'm gonna be drowsy, I want to be on the couch to yeah. fall asleep. But, but they're, they're in like the function. studio. They're off it. It's an opiate. You know, they're very much like uh, they're just sort of out of it. But then they, a lot of times they take uppers with it. 
Like, mm. That Molly and that lean together is a Wait, deadly really? combo. Really? Molly and lean? Yeah, because you're up, that but then you're also kind of down. Yeah, it's a fucking... Yo, it's honestly we, a good way to die. put an order for a lean? <laughs> Just kidding. It's a good way to die. No, I would honestly, never... I never ups, try. Uppers and downers at the same time. It was very I scary. Never, I never tried it. Never really I put cared Molly about it. Molly and my lean. Um, yeah. So, all right. Vitaly. I'm ready, man. I'm ready for, for whatever you got to come. I feel right, like man. we got to find somebody for you to fuck up. I think Bradley's got to... What, what is he scared of? He's huge. I don't, I don't think he's scared of anything. Then let's fucking get this shit on paper. Call up the zone and let's tell him to do it. Me and academics on the undercard. The zone. That's the app, right? The zone is the one who did the kiss. Okay, right, so out. I don't know if that, whoever's watching this, the guy. I think the owner of the fucking app came to my seat before anything happened. Right in the beginning, he's like, "Get the fuck out of here." I'm like, I was like, who? So I was talking to Dan Bazirian because I came with him. So I went to his seat because we sat separately. So I was just talking to him. He's like, "Get the fuck out of the building!" I'm like, who the fuck are you? And I was like, yeah, I didn't want to start shit because it was before the fight. But, and then I went and I was like, who does that guy in the suit? He's like, oh, I think he's the owner of the fucking. I'm like, okay. I wonder what he thought you were going to do. But you know what? You know what? I feel fucking amazing. If people hate me like that, I fucking love it. It means I'm doing something right. Right. I love it. Well, I mean, what's like worst case scenario for him? You run out there with your shirt off. It's like, who gives a fuck? That's just more viral shit happening. Yeah. Like, what's going to happen? You're in the Staples Center. There's five million cops and security guards in here. Exactly. You know what's so funny is I remember seeing you at a house party a couple of years ago and just being like, oh my God, I cannot believe Vitaly is here. That's the craziest thing Who ever. Who said that? Me. I was just like. Oh, so you're a fanboy. Yeah. I was just like, I know this guy from YouTube. He's super famous on YouTube. Yeah. I can't believe he's at this party. You, you were wearing like a red, and like a, a sort of like patriotic, like white, red, and blue suit. Oh, Does this oh, sound uh, familiar yeah, yeah. at all? The one piece, right? Like yes. a pajama? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that could probably help you place it time wise. But yeah, no, I'm like just thinking that's kinda of crazy that like Yeah. Did you come up to me and ask for a picture? No, nah, I didn't have it in me. I was like that's, <laughs> that's just lame. I, I was like, I'm like, gonna go back to the bathroom and do another line. <laughs> it probably was like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I mean I I just I'm very picky about who I'll take a photo with. Like I was I I work out in the same gym as like it's like at a hotel, so a lot of times there's different celebrities in there. Ludacris was around three, four days in a row. Could, didn't say a word. Do I? Can yeah. you say it with Jim? Or? No, I don't say. But yeah. the other week, uh, Timbaland was in there two different times in a row. His wife, bad. Wow. I didn't have the heart to say anything to him. But I just don't want to bother someone working out, you know? Especially if they got their headphones I on. go to Equinox. Jason Statham always comes there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's I want, tight. I want to do like something like... Uh, Pretty much go up to him is like, yo, life is life is all about chances, you know. So let's play rock paper scissors. If I win, uh, I get to be in your movie. But if you win, I'll give you ten thousand dollar cash right now. And I know for him, ten thousand dollar cash is nothing. But it's a unique way instead of be like, I'm a fan. Let me take a picture. Let me be in the movie. It's a fair game, rock paper scissors. If you agree, it's a and you got to be a man or you work. Put and me in the movie. I feel like even if you have millions in the bank. Ten thousand dollars cash is very appealing. Okay, so thank you. So cash. Right, I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm not scared. I just to hate people bothering me. When people right. come up to me at the gym and take a picture. I hate it. So, do you even live, bro? So now since you said that, even though he's a millionaire, okay, fuck it. Now I'm gonna do yeah. it. Like, I feel it's like, worth a try. What is he gonna say? No, get the fuck out of my because, face. Listen, when you're a millionaire, that money is like an abstract thing that's in the bank because you yeah. you never will see what it actually looks like. But if you see ten thousand dollars in front of your face, it's kind of like hmm. it's, it still looks like a lot because most yeah. people don't. Why would you have ten thousand dollars cash? You know? Yeah. All right, Vitaly coming soon to the movie screen. Bigger, that's right. Bigger movies. Bigger movies. Appreciate you, man. Thanks, brother. Much love. We, we should catch me. a workout together soon. Fuck yeah, bro. Come through, see what you train like. Yeah, let's see. Let me see those chicken legs. Yeah, I want to see Vitaly fucking whoop my ass into shape. <laughs> All right, thanks for having me, bro. Calf Sign raises, up. calf raises necessary. Yeah, for sure. Ah. Sign up on Vitaly Uncensored. Thanks, bye. Appreciate you, man.